Um, I found an old housing unit. Um, it's an old solar light at one time. Uh, it's broken. Um, what I've done is I've the battery that comes with it um, is a six volt battery which is just right for those cams uh, that's the power supply they need uh, and there's nothing wrong with the battery I've chucked away the solar part of this thing and the the um, light and everything because it was broke um, so what I've done is I've soldered two leads to go to the battery there and there um, I've also soldered the USB lead that's going to come out um, and supply the camera and also there's another lead here this one, uh, which is going to go to a so these two leads are going to go onto a battery, as you can see, and they'll go on there. And then what I'm going to do, I'm mounting a solar panel up there that originally came with that light, which I'm going to use, uh, and I'm going to plug the power end of that um, into my little box of tricks. And hopefully, what it should do is charge up the battery um, during the day and keep it going all the time at night, because I'm going to set it to motion detect. Um, it should work pretty good. I'll be able to give an update on it in a few weeks time um, But I'll just go now to um, Sit in the box up on the wall here. I've drilled the holes for it ready uh, and then we'll go about putting the camera on So we'll do that next Well, there we have the final installation and uh, There's the camera you can plug it in. I've plugged in the lead from the battery um, Which is inside our little box here. If you haven't got a box like this, just you can buy anything like this from Maplin um, and obviously the power leads coming out from the battery and feeding our device and I, I think you can see that it is working there I think you can see a picture from it I know it's only a little tiny screen but we'll see if we can get it round to it so you can see that it is recording okay okay there's a little gadget where the light's a bit bad but I can just see there that it is on and working um, and that's it really so basically what we've got here is a self-sufficient um, security camera um, it's set to motion detect so it won't just use up all the memory card and uh, be expired at the end of it it will do one minute blocks i've done it for for the movement so it won't use too much of the memory card up although i've got a 16 gigabyte in there um, and there goes our, our wire which goes out and round to our solar panel there Okay, so you can see the, the actual thing, and I've got plenty of sun, look. <laughs> uh, so there you are. Uh, and that's it, that's, that's the job. So if you want a cheap um, solar system, I managed to find this old box, um, but if you have to buy one, I mean, it's still uh, not thinking more than about, I'd say 10 quid for the box and probably about 10 for the battery. So if you put that all together with a card in the box and 15 quid for that, uh, you're probably coming around about 40 or 50 quid. But if you can find something like this that I've, I've had in the garage with an old battery, then you you can utilize it and do it very cheaply but at least one thing you haven't got to have any power supply and it will just keep going the solar will keep that battery going all night and the, the drain on the camera is so small um, that it, it won't use up all the power it will be charged up again the following day okay uh, that's it from me out uh, thanks again for watching all my videos Derrickson 33 thanks for watching